Greetings, ladies and the players. As you know, I have uncovered more Legend 88 videos, but this one I actually remember specifically why I didn't upload it. Um, you can kind of see there in the preview window in uh, my premiere that it's Legend 88 as a 7 Don versus Tai Gem uh, 7 Don. Now, I, apparently I have to address this because some people may have forgotten who Legend 88 is, and he is a pro who ranked up uh, on Tai Gem from 5 to 9 Don, and then proceeded to go on like some 20 game win streak against other pros at 9 Don. He, he, was, he was fantastic, and the great thing about him is that he did this series while not playing crazy and playing very, very simple and basic, whereas at the time a lot of pros who ranked up would just uh, play super quick kind of tricky moves to get the per other person they're playing to just like make a quick mistake because they've got like a bunch of games to get through to get to nine down where they want to be in order to play. That kind of began the whole, you know, P system where you put a nice little P next to their name and they could begin at nine down as a verified pro. You know, a while back, they couldn't they couldn't do any of that. So I'm not gonna not gonna name drop you or anything, but crazy person from last video who said that you're tired of this person for sandbagging, just shut up, you don't know what you're talking about. That's that that's all there is to that. But yes, this one didn't make the upload because I actually recorded a set of these videos and I was in the wrong resolution. Somehow this recorded in 720p. As a result, this video might be a little bit more pixely. I don't know. I've got it kind of stretched and smoothed out a little bit, I think. So 720p should be looking okay, even though I'm going to be encoding this at 1080 still. But either way, it's Legend 88. He's playing at 7 Don uh, from Tai Gym. He's still doing that kind of simpler style that we all know and love. So just enjoy the video, enjoy the game, and I'll see you all next time. And greetings once again. As you can see, we are back with my real board and we are still reviewing good old Legend 88 versus a Tai Gem 7 Don. Now, as you might notice, or as you might know by now, Legend 88 was a professional player who double ranked from 5 to 7 and double ranked from 7 to 9 and then went on an amazing winning streak. Nine Don, proving that he had what take his amateurs and pros alike, cementing his uh, status as a very, very strong player. <sighs> that aside, this is part of his rank up through Seven Don series, where he played a very, very, very basic. Love it, love it, love it. But he wasn't afraid to kill a fool who decided to act up. So he's, he's basic. But, you know, he ain't Jesus. Now, Legend 88 in this game is Blick. And he opens up with a 4-4 point. His opponent, 7 Don, takes 4-4 four, four as well. And 3-4 for black. And a white's like, no. Uh-uh. I am not gonna be seeing any freaking Chinese formations here. That's the point of approaching early. If you really, really hate the Chinese, you're probably going to approach early. That because if you take the corner, could could go good old Chinese. So Black's like, okay, I get it. You don't like the Chinese. I'm just gonna pincer you. That's all. Just gonna pincer. Now, what's dastardly about this is if White plays away right now, take the open corner, then what you just did is you approach the Chinese low, which is one of the worst things you can do uh, versus the Chinese. It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. But White's like, it's fine. I, I know what I'm going to do. I know you're undefeated at this point. All I'm going to do is beat the crap out of you. I'm going to I'm going to play everything and see what you do then. Huh? 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 Okay. So, pincers obviously. 
and White's got tricksy ideas. Approaches to space high. Okay. There was a period where we saw a lot of two space high approaches for reasons similar to what you're about to see now. Black follows up. Nice and solid. White gets to attach. Black honey's on the Black honey's on the out. And white pulls back. And black does likewise. Well, actually, no, he doesn't pull back. He kind of goes forward, doesn't he? Close enough. White blocks. Fourth line territory now being taken. And there's a cutting point. So... We need to connect that. Which means white has sente. Play a big move. Play a big move. Play a biggie biggie move. See? And not only that, not only that, there's still Aji here later. So you can see why this was kind of like an in thing for a while, you know? This was kind of a bit of an in thing for a while. Like, yeah, you approach and then you, uh, you, do, you do the thing, you know? You do the thing. Now, unfortunately, that's all well and good, but but you told me corns four sides. Yes. You do corns four sides. That is very true. Which is why Black is happy to get a corner. Now, note he's not playing here. Because now that's a, that's a Chinese for him. We could kill this one stone. But the framework is now growing for white. So that would be kind of... Mm. So we don't want to do that. Yoink and yoink. So yeah. Black takes a corner. Because white is after the side. Mm. We'll take the corner then. Corners are usually larger than sides, so yeah, just as C.L. Smith just mentioned. Yeah, take corner, four sides. Forehead. Alright. White has to answer uh, this little guy up. And he decides to do it very, very loosely. Very, very loosely indeed. But black... Ever the solid player. Wait, I'm, I think I'm off. Am I off? Uh, two, three. I am off, sorry. Plays here. Thought that looked weird. Ever the solid player. Plays this uh, lovely Kasumi. Just a diagonal, keep things separated. White is like the king of fast play. You can saw, you can, you can saw. Yeah, that was, that was, that was good English. You can see that he played really, really fast top of the board. And now he's attaching to play really, really fast to settle. So we've got like the Speed Demon versus Captain Solid Pants. That's, that's what this game is. Hane to disrupt base. Hane to try to settle. And again, nice. Simple connection. Nice, solid shapes. Oh, you love it. You'll love it. And if you don't, then too bad for you. White comes out. And Black says, I'm going to be nice and solid in my corner. Nice and solid in my corner. White turns. Black follows up. Now he's totes immortal. And white connects. Okay. Okay. Nice strong corner versus outside. Territory versus influence. Pretty straightforward exchange. Now, on this board, 
You might be tempted. Keep attacking. Or to push through. But, as our resident chess expert has mentioned, you should do corners before sides and center stuff. Right? So, we're going to approach this corner, this open. We have two choices. We can approach out or in. We can see the influence and be like, you know what? I think this side is more is is more bigly because of the bigly influence. So, blam. Approach inside. Now you might say, why would you approach inside? You're just going to get pincered, you moron. At which point, you're going to give him all of the influence he wanted anyway. So why would you do this? It doesn't make, it doesn't make sense. Clearly, you're a noob. Black's a noob. He doesn't know what he's doing. And we all should laugh at him. We should just point and laugh at Black the Noob. Well, not quite true. Not quite true. The reason why this exchange is worth more than just approaching on the outside, one, we get the, we get the corner back, which is pretty good. And two, there's Anji here. Later on, we might be able to play here. Or here. Or here. Or here. And we can do that because we already have a stone in place. If we just played here and outside and let this grow with no stone in place, we have to kind of invade and reduce from scratch with no Aji to work with. No Aji to work from. And that would be kind of bad. This looks slow. I know. I know. That looks slow. Nobody on this planet wants to play here. But here's the thing. Imagine this move. You imagining it? Do you see the horror? Because black is so strong? This sucks. We're, 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 we're in trouble. We're going to lose all of this. Like, we can't, we can't do anything here. But it's gonna, it just lives almost by itself. Just almost on autopilot. Right? We don't want to see that. We don't want to see that. So I understand. I understand why playing here. He knows this disappears if he doesn't. I get it. It makes it actually makes sense. But there's a really big problem. New mic? What do you mean new mic? Do I sound different? I shouldn't. So the problem here is yes, that invasion doesn't work anymore. But the shoulder hit is still an issue. The shoulder, it's an issue. Now we play back. Easy to reduce. Easiest thing to worry about, or to, to play. Don't have to worry about this territory here at all. White creates cutting points. Black Atari. White connect. And now I make shape points. 
like so. That way, if there's a cut here, we Atari, it extends, Atari, Atari, and then go back and fix. Nice, strong ship point. Black is obviously noting that white's worried about his points, but that's too slow. So wh where do we play now? Where do we play? Where are we going to play? Black's move. D14. Ooh. D14 wants to go into the middle. More people wanting to go into the middle. But a lot of people are noting, dude, just in close. You're doing good, bruh. So yeah, he encloses. He encloses huge. And I admit, if you have a trouble seeing Aji in closing large is a-okay. If you're having trouble, if you're having trouble with Aji, this is good. But this, oh, this, this, this is, this is Craigasm right here. White is trying to defend against the Aji in his corner. Black defends his. It looks like the game is continuing nice and simple. But there is a huge, huge mistake that White has made. And I don't think anybody in chat would see it. I don't think anybody in chat would see it. We defend here, by the way, because if we don't, there's this one. Connect into connect. So we hit here. Make sure that's never a thing. Just like so. And then we go and extend three. Nice big corner. White's coming out into the middle. Sector line. Done, done, done. So black picks up on that immediately. Does not forget his weak group. Not for an instant. Really, really nice. Seeing if we can cut off the one stone. Cat's okay, pretty cool. Black says, I would rather watch every point of territory I have in the corner burn in a fiery death then let you cut off my one stone and take stupidly large amounts of points. So that is not going to happen. And honey. And extend. And extend. Push and cut might be scary for some people. But take notes. That cut is Gote, and then you Hane. They block. You Atari. They connect. You Tiger's Mouth probably at that point. And they've got like... One, two, three liberties tops, and they're dead. 
So not scary at all. Not scary in the slightest. Now, if this wasn't here, it'd be scary because you'd cut, you'd Hane, and then there'd be like an Atari into an Atari into like an Atari, and then it's like, Ugh. but the cut point's protected. So we're good. Hane. And same. And connect. And connect. And white. Cuts. Very strong. Very nice. Good job. Good job. Way to go. That stone looks like it's going to die. It's not bad, man. It's not bad. Black fixes and comes out. Because there's still Aji here. White's feeling confident. After that left hand side, you know White's feeling confident. Smashes Tengen. If they were playing in person, you could probably feel them push Tengen through the board. So it's there permanently as an indentation. Simple move. And saved. Now here's the thing. Tengen looks strong, but this still has shape that way. It still has shape this way. It still has potential here. That looks very, very severe. But only if you're not confident in the shapes that you were making. If you're not confident, then yeah, sure. I agree. That Tengen looks scary AF. But if you do, if you are confident, then White has been making a really bad mistake this entire game with the handling of his top group. And that mistake Well, that looks weird, doesn't it? Surely that can't live. Right? I mean it can't. Right? But white gets it. White gets it. Clearly what black wants to do is connect under. So white says no connecting under. Okay. Okay. That is a ladder or the two stones are dead. If you Atari it down, those two stones die. Let's imagine that for a minute. Let's imagine here into here into here into here That is a really, 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 really tiny area that used to be worth Many, many points. So now, he saves the two stones. But that means that is Sente. One stone captured. And it comes out. 
shape, man. Shape is a pain in the butt. It looks like you're making so many points on territory on top of the board. Like before this, dude, that was like we're 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, maybe 16 points up there. Oh, so good. Let's count it now. One, two, um, maybe there's a third. <laughs> That's kind of the same, right? <laughs> That's an issue. So, all right. White says no problem. I will attack you. And white's like, I, or black's like, I'm going to pass on that one, dog. And white's like, no, nah, I am really going to attack you now. And black's like, I'm, yeah, hard pass. Still hard pass. And white's like, then I will lean on your right hand group. I'm going to kill you now. And Black's like, uh, yeah, about that. White like, behold, I can bring my stones back to life too. And Black's like, can you though? Cause it's created two more cutting points here and here. I mean, I don't, I'm not, uh, can you really do that? And White's like, you bet I can. But again, there's two, there's there's two cutting points there. Two cutting points there. So he defends one, which means black takes the other one, and at that point, white's like, "Well, that sucks." And black's just like, "Yeah, that, yeah, it did. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. It, uh, yeah, that did suck for you." He's alive, though. Defends his weak group. And Black's just like... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for dying. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Now we all know what white has to do. You know? We all know what white has to do now. White has to kill the middle part of the board. It's his last chance. So here he goes. His spirits are still high. All you have to do is just kill the middle, man. It's all you gotta do. I mean, this went well. We're not talking about this. Not talking about that. But this, that went well. So just gotta do it again. Gotta do it again. Gotta do it again. Now, if a group only has to live, it's going to live. It's as simple as that. Because you can attach to whatever you need. You can play whatever dumb shape you can in order to make your two eyes. That's why it's hard to kill a group when that group knows it's under attack. You gotta be subtle about it. You gotta convince it you're not really interested in it. You know? That way, by the time it realizes it, it, it's in trouble, it's already been poisoned. I mean, it'll thrash around for a while, but, you know, it, it's dead. That's not what's happening here. This is just going after a group that's nice and healthy and you're trying to convince it to drink poison but it's just not having it. It's like, I'm never playing away. I'm going to keep building up my shape. 
tries to go in for those soft spots. Doesn't get tricky, just connects. Minor victory. White managed to, uh, he didn't really kill Black in the middle of the board so much. It's just, um, it, it, it's more like he's clipping his toenails. Like, he is getting something off of him, but uh, not really what he was hoping for, you know? So Black just connects up. White still attacking with that clipper. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger, danger. But he has to go after it. There's no other hope. No other hope. There's no other path to victory besides killing Black. So anything and everything, kitchen sink, whatever. The cat, anything you have to, anything. Anything you have to throw at him. Gotta keep him surrounded. Which is gonna lead into a lot of pain. Because if you just keep randomly throwing stones at your opponent, doesn't always go well, you know? Doesn't always go well. If your groups aren't connected up, if your stones aren't connected up, and you are trying to make a kill, well, the one who's being hunted, you will often find, is not your opponent, but yourself. And that is a very good lesson for everyone. And White understandably resigns. He had to try to go for a kill. Instead, he got killed. That was the end of that. Self-defense. Can't blame, can't blame Legend for taking that group off the board. He just wanted to connect. White said you couldn't. Over and over and over again, White said you couldn't. So Black's like, okay, fine. Well, the problem wasn't Aji so much. It's this shape was pretty resilient. And White had to drastically overstep his position to try to poke it. To the point where he had a bunch of stuff that just wasn't connected. So what Black was like, can I go this way? No. Can I go this way? No. Well, then you're dead. Like, you had to let me do something. And to be also brutally fair, like right now, there's also that one. So even if somehow this didn't work, I mean, at this point, he'd just go back and live again, you know? I mean, that that's just how that happened. Ugh. Poor dude. Poor dude. But loving the games. I love Legend 88 series. I love Legend 88 series, and I also love I Don't Care series. I'll probably be bringing you all of those games eventually. I know I haven't gone over any of I Don't Care's games in forever, and he was the Chinese? Korean? I don't know. Whatever Legend 88 was, I think I Don't Care was the other side of that. Either way, another good rank up, rank up uh, series. Anyway, hoping you enjoyed this one.